So in this video, I'm going to do a little editing for a job. <clears throat> I currently have a small job already listed on the display here. You can see some moves. <clears throat> All of them currently at 100%. I'm going to insert some different lines, some comments, and some other things, and just walk you through general editing. Uh, first off, for editing a speed, you can just touch on a given speed and a box will pop up and allow you to edit that particular speed. So I've just reduced that particular move speed from 100% down to 50%. Uh, another thing you can do quickly and easily is add a comment. Uh, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the pendant under Commands and under the General tab I want to click on the Show Advanced Commands and I want to throw in a comment. Uh, comments are extremely helpful for allowing you to uh, guide people through your programming. I'm going to hit the little uh, gearbox afterwards and down at the bottom I get an editing box down below and I can touch on the editing box and bring it up and I'll just call this the home position. And enter and then save all and um, that'll put that comment line in there. Um, another thing you can do is touch up a point. So I could grab a particular location and then using the jogging keys, I could jog up, down, right, left, wherever I needed to jog to. And then I could touch up that point. Uh, simply, again, hit the gear icon it brings up a dialog box showing the currently programmed position, uh, the recorded position that was programmed, and then the current location. And all you have to do is simply hit the reteach, and that will modify that particular point to the current location of the robot. Another thing you can do is, uh, let's say that's the up position before a pick, and then this is the down position before a pick. If I wanted to duplicate this pit position, this over the pick position, as the return from the pick position here. I could just simply highlight that line, do a copy up above the standard icon for Windows, touch on the line that I wanted it to occur after, and do the paste from clipboard command, and that inserts that line of code directly after. So up at the top, you've got a cut, you've got a copy, you got a paste, and you got a uh, trash can for deleting a line so uh, that's quick and easy to just tap that and do some deletion. Let's say at this point in the program here I wanted to uh, turn on the gripper so you see right down here I've got a digital out that I can insert and I can then hit the gear for the digital out and I can select the I.O. point and whether I need to turn it on and off uh, do the same thing on the tail end, turning it on or off, uh, quick and easy to insert gripper commands. Uh, all in all, it's a pretty easy to use interface for touching up, editing uh, programs on the fly.